tonight at the Foodie Chats four-year celebration with founder and CEO Steve Green. How are you? Hi, Jillian Connolly. How you doing? Good. I've been following you guys since it all started. Uh, you guys were one of the first groups that I really got involved with. I mean, I think it's crazy that one tweet on May 9th, 2011 has turned into this global social networking foodie community. It's, it's, yeah. it's pretty wild, but it's just bringing people together, community over food. I mean, what better way? The million dollar question I yeah. believe tonight is, yeah. what makes food such a conversation piece? Oh, I mean, food food goes back to like way back in times. I mean, everybody's celebrating something over food. I mean, it's something we do every day, right? True. We breathe, we eat, we sleep, we pay taxes. Yeah. But food it's, food's more fun than all the rest of those. It's survival in a fun way. It is survival in a fun way. Yeah. Carmen, I know you're a very big foodie girl in Chicago. What makes Foodie Chat such a great blog to you? Oh, I love Foodie Chats. I try to jump on the Twitter feed when they have the Foodie Chats going on. I think it's weekly or bi-weekly, but... You find out about all the cool new restaurants, what's good out there, like this lobster roll sitting here. And, you know, just... Know, it looks delicious. It, I want to eat that. It's, don't touch that. That's mine. <laughs> got a little right there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Jeff has eaten so much lobster tonight. Yeah, Julian's going to have to feed me. He is transforming into a lobster. Yes. You may need to feed me. So, this is Joe Fish. Joe Fish, yes. An Illinois and Dearborn. And we are actually eating lobster rolls over here. Are amazing. Is it wrong to eat my own kind? I think it's okay. It's like feeding a dog uh, the hot dog. You can't. You can't clean. Do you need a napkin? You no. can't hold one. <laughs> <laughs> Try to wipe your face with that. Well, I'll bleed. <laughs> Jillian, I have the food, fashion, and philanthropy ladies, CC and Melinda, and thank you for not psyching us out. This is actually CC and Melinda, not the other way around. <laughs> so they line up accordingly. Yes, they do. So tell us, what do you guys know about Foodie Chats and what do you love about them? Well, we always participate when we can on Monday nights. Steve Green's not only a friend of ours, but being a part of the food community here in Chicago, we love to support each other and be a part of each other's events. I'd like to invite everybody to save the date, October 24, our second mac and cheese fest in Chicago. Awesome. Mac and cheese. We're there. I yeah, love it. Mac and cheese. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, ladies. CC and Melinda. Hey, we're with Eric, the owner, founder of Bonfire Wines from Old Town. How are you? Very good. Thank you very much. So please tell us what this exciting concoction is, because we saw this and yeah. we were Give very excited. Thank you very much. These are brand new. This is Bonfire Wines. We make craft, premium quality California wines. They're blends. Ignite is Muscat and Gewurz Traminer. There you go. I'm going to pour that for you right now. You have your own personal tap. What's great about this pack is that the wines stay fresh for 21 plus days after you open them. So if you ever like left a half drank bottle of wine in the fridge and had to throw it out, right? No. Okay, maybe not you, but maybe a relative, right? But you're never going to waste wine again in this package, which just makes it great. Eric, could you hold me upside down and see how long I can drink from that? I mean, you can, you can probably do try. Do it, do it. Dare you, I dare you. No, no, should I really? Do it. I, I can take like a sip of it, right? Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Is going to spill all over there? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Like a champ. That's good. That's your bonfire moment. Oh, good. You had a bonfire moment. I'm excited. I'm going to need this for home. <laughs> These are great. These are sustainable. They're lightweight. They won't break. Great keeping it at home, but take them with you out to the beach, out to the park. Um, just a, a great all-around pack. Perfect for a Chicago summer. That's it. That's it. Just in time. All right. It's the end of the night. We're about to leave, and there's no cupcakes left. We're lucky we got here when we did. Luckily, but Mama Cuisine's here to save the day with us. Yes. Yay. I'm here. So tell us, what do you know about Foodie Chats, and how have you been involved before? So I've met Steve a couple years ago, obviously through Twitter, started following each other, and I just loved everything that he was doing and really bringing food-minded people, people who love to eat out, people who love to cook together yeah. online, and yeah. then he does such a good job of making it in live events like this fabulous party that we have today. So it's been amazing to be part of Foodie Chats and to follow him and to just see it grow um, for years, so yeah. yeah. You're a big foodie, so what's ahead for you, Mama Cuisine? 
What's ahead for me? Well, we have a new cooking show series called In the Kitchen, once a week on MamaCuisine.com. So I share recipes, celebrity chef interviews, and then we travel around also. So just sharing everyday meals for people and to get people excited about cooking at home. You guys know me. That's oh, yeah. what I like to do. In the kitchen. I love the slang. The kitchen, right? In the kitchen. I'm glad you like it. You approve. I'm going to put Jeff approve. How do we find out more information about you? Go to MamaCuisine.com. M-O-M-M-A Cuisine.com. Mama Cuisine. Right. And this is Magnolia Bakery here. Have a good night on a good note. Cheers, everybody. I'm just going to keep eating this pudding. To booty chats. To booty chats. Cheers. Cheers. How do we find out more information about Foodie Chats? Well, you go to foodiechats.com, of course, and we have a, a real special announcement that we're making later that uh, oh. we, uh, well, can you get it later or should I tell you, you now? Nah. Tell us, give yeah. a sneak peek a sneak at first on social we'll media. Right now. A sneak peek is that we submitted the Foodie Chats app to Google and, and Apple today. So oh. we are waiting approval and we will be live. The first social foodie networking app really on the market because there's, there's restaurant apps and review apps and recipe app, but not a social networking foodie app that yeah. exists out there. So we're pretty excited. So we should be uh, accepted in a couple of weeks. Everywhere. So follow at Foodie Chats on Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Everywhere. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, thanks, Jillian. Thanks, Jeff.